Hey there YouTube world, Matt Schwartz, The Welding Geek here, and on this episode of The Welding Geek, I'm going to show you how I went about painting bo Katan's helmet. Part 3. Roll it. Alright, the first thing I did was tape off all the parts that I'm going to polish later here. You can see this. Uh, got all those parts masked off. The next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to use Crest toothpaste, or any toothpaste really. I'm going to use this as my masking fluid. Now you can buy masking fluid. It's a lot more accurate. It will come off a lot more cleaner. Um, so if you want to use that, I'll link that in the description below where you can find some. I can get off Amazon. Um, but I feel like toothpaste works just fine and I've got a lot of it around. <laughs> so that's the one I'm going to use. Um, and I'm just going to put the toothpaste in the places where there's bare metal showing through on this first pass. Um, just looking at my reference photos, looking at my stand up over there, trying to get it as close as possible. Um, this is not going to be exactly perfect, but it's going to be pretty close. Um, and the first coat of paint I'm going to do here is this flat black. And I will link all my colors in the description of below. Um, so you can see here now, I have it done in uh, the flat black. I'll paint it up. And the next thing I'm going to do is add more um, toothpaste or the masking fluid if you want to use that um, on the spots where a little bit of that flat black is showing through. I'm going to use my reference photos and my little stand up over there to try to get it as close as I can. So that's what I'm going to do here. Next up, I'm going to peel out my little stencil here. Now I cut this out of my Cricut and I will make available the BMP file for anybody that has a Cricut so they can cut theirs out. Um, but I'm using this and the, the flat black paint um, as a masking um, just to make it look nice and crisp. And so the next thing I'm going to do here is actually take this gray paint that I'm going to use and I'm just going to spray it on the brow and this is for the little eye shaped parts of the, I don't know if you want to call it the, the night owl portion or the markings she has on her helmet. So I just sprayed this portion here on the top and I'm going to go ahead and pluck out my little stencils that I cricketed out um, and place them on accordingly. Stencils were kind of a pain in the butt to get on because you're putting it around a complex curve. Um, but I end up uh, having to snip kind of like the top section and kind of overlapping it a little bit to get it to go. But um, just take your time and it will go down nice and flat. You just have to work on it a little bit. Now that I have my stencils in place, I'm going to hit it with a matte Nantucket blue. This is kind of like the base coat, the main color of the helmet. Alright, next up I'm going to go ahead and mask off the rear little feature section here that's a different, a darker color blue. And that blue is an indigo and I'll show it here in a minute. And got my front section masked off as well. I'm going to hit it with this iced gray, but you can also see here the indigo color that I just sprayed on um, and how I masked the front of the helmet uh, for the, the white portion or the iced gray as it is called. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the helmet with a coat of that. And you can see here I went ahead and got that all painted. And there's the back section that's indigo. And now that I have all my main colors on, I'm going to go ahead and get all the masking off this thing and see what we're dealing with.
Now that I have all the tape off, I'm going to, need to take it to the sink and rinse it off with some warm water and rinse off all the rest of the toothpaste. Um, and this is what it looks like after all the toothpaste is rinsed off. Um, the next thing I'm going to do though is take this little angle head and put in the score marks across her face and a bunch more little um, areas of um, detailing um, using this little angle head grinder um, and then the sandpaper and the scotch bright just relieving more of the shiny metal out um, trying to give it that real realistic damaged look. As you can see I'm just trying to go through all my reference photos and try to add as much of this detail as I can. It's not going to be perfect um, but I'm trying to get it as reasonably close as my talents will allow. Alright, so the next thing I did was lay the little black pointy things out by hand and then just cut them out with a razor blade and hit them with a coat of black paint and I weathered them a little bit and this is how they came out. Next thing I'm going to do here is hit all my bare metal parts um, with this mother's mag and aluminum polish to make them shiny and beshgar looking. Alright, with just a little bit of elbow grease, and this is how it came out. Not mere polished, I just wanted to bring out the sheen of the aluminum to give it that dull metal best car look that it has in the show. Now I'm going to do some detail work with this black acrylic paint. I'm going to paint in the little uh, U-shape, upside down U-shapes in the ears. And I'm also going to go around the helmet and slightly water down this acrylic paint and hit all my little cracks first and then kind of wipe them away with my finger, um, leaving a really thick layer of grime and grit in all my cracks around the helmet. And then I'm going to go ahead and after that's done, I'm going to hit it with a black wash with the same acrylic paint. I'm just going to water it down way more and black wash the entire helmet to grunge up the, the whole entire thing.
can see I got all these details in got that thicker black paint up by the cracks and now when I go hit it with the watered down black it'll kind of wash out that black paint as well um, so yeah I'm just adding some black paint I'm gonna add a bunch of water I um, mix it together and just brush the entire helmet with with it and then come back with some paper towels and, and wipe off um, most of it but it just leaves a dull grimy look to it I'm doing it this way A little black wash goes a long way. I always love this final step or close to final step. It really brings out kind of the weathering and makes it just look used and awesome. So I'm really happy with how this is coming out. Final step I'm gonna do here is just go over it with a Scotch-Brite pad, just to lighten up some of the darker areas and blend stuff. Um, Cause when you do the black wash, sometimes the drips kind of congregate in one spot and it makes it really dark. So I'm gonna kind of get rid of those and then just kind of really hit it to make it look, have some bright spots, have some dark spots, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it. And that is it for the paint scheme. All right, part three, last part of the video. Let's get some close-ups here. Let's give you a nice rotation here. Ear caps. Move the light like always. <laughs> You'd think I'd learn. <laughs> Other ear. Back vent. Little kind of dashes there. The cheek. Get back this far. It's pretty good. I hope that video helped you guys out. Those who are wanting to paint their own Boca Tan helmet. The colors I used, I will, I will put those all in the link through my Amazon Associates account. So if you want to support the channel, you can do it that way. Buy your paint on or through those links. Um, yeah, the inside of this helmet, I haven't really done much. I threw a couple pads that I had laying around in there just so I could put it on and see how visually you could see out of it. And you can see really well out of this helmet. Um, like I haven't put the visor in or the permanent pads yet um, and I'll, I'll do that later uh, like I said I already have um, on camera how to install a visor and head pads if, so if you want to see that video check it out um, what we have coming up next on the channel will be the rifle build um, and like I said I'll be giving that away to my patreon um, supporters in the $10 tier the giveaway tier um, so if you want to become part of that jump onto that tier because as soon as I'm done I think it's gonna be I don't know three or four separate videos I'm gonna do it in um, when I'm done with that after the final video I'll, I'll do the giveaway and give away that rifle um, so yeah if you want to jump on my patreon um, the templates are there and they're available to both um, the giveaway tier and the five dollar tier there's only two tiers right now um, so if you want to attempt to make your own, the templates are over there. The templates for my Mandalorian helmet, all the armor. The, I even have templates for the um, uh, what, chapter one armor, the you know, chest plate, the death watch. Um, I have the standard Mando templates, um, templates for um, the Cloudbuster sword, and all sorts of templates that are available to you um, if you want to join me over there on Patreon. Um, what else? Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm considering making the spear next after the rifle. Um, because I, I feel like I could do that really cool. Um, and then I might consider, um, doing the jet pack. Um, Boba Fett, the new Boba Fett armor from the show. Um, all sorts of stuff rolling around in my head. Like, what do I want to make next? 
Uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying my content. Thanks for, for watching through these video builds. It means a lot that the channel is growing. People are subscribing. Um, it means a lot. I, I do read your comments. Um, and you guys have been wonderful. I have one of the best communities out there, I feel like. I am paying attention. Um, it's really hard to, um, when, you, when you're growing, it's, I, I know I'm not huge, but with just, I mean, it's overwhelming. So I've just kind of <laughs> laid low, but I am reading the comments and you guys are awesome. Um, thanks for being part of the Welding Geek community. Um, that's, that's been a lot of fun. I can't wait to get to some conventions and meet some of you guys because um, you guys have been just just amazing. So thank you so much for you guys' support. Um, so yeah, I just want to keep on going. I'm having fun. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. And yeah, my name's Matt Schwartz, and I'm the Welded Geek. Thanks for staying tuned, guys.